Hey everybody, okay, I'm going to show you how to um, encrypt your data uh, if you're in a wireless hotspot location um, and you want to ensure that uh, nobody else that's on the local wireless network um, is able to s view your information um, on the internet. So that you need a proxy server, of course, um, that you're going to connect to, So, um, which are colored, covered in the article. So let's just go ahead... Um, and start SSH, SSH Tunnel, which you've downloaded and installed from the Apple website. And I'll show you how to get that configured. First thing, when you get into the program, you click Servers. And this screen will be blank when you first set it up. You want to click the plus sign here, and then type in your server configuration information for your SSH server. Usually the port's 22, and your login name and password, and the server name. Uh, click Apply. And then go back to Sessions. And then you're going to highlight your airport proxy if you're using wireless. And you're going to be able to select the um, server that you just created here in airport. And you want to put right in here, you can put in whatever port you like. Um, it's just going to be the port that you remember for later. Um, so this is going to be your proxy port. Uh, next step is to click here, and that will turn our proxy on, which in effect logs this computer into the SSH server and sets up a tunnel over this port. So what we're going to do now is minimize that and our next step is to do Firefox configuration. We're going to go Firefox preferences and then we're going to go to the advanced section and then the network and then settings. And what we're going to do here is click manual proxy configuration and down here in the SOX host this is what we need to fill in. You're going to put in 127.0.0.1 which stands for the local computer and then you're going to put in the port number of the proxy that you just set up exact same number you click OK and you can close this and you should be able to browse and you're using the web proxy now so what this means is your data is from this point onward your data is encrypted from this computer until it gets to the proxy server um, browsing seems to be a tad slow here but that's most likely due to my wireless connection which is somewhat weak right now. So the next thing that we definitely should do for um, Firefox is um, protecting the um, DNS queries. One thing that the SOX proxy does not cover is your DNS queries so that if somebody was listening they could still see what websites you went to. They couldn't necessarily see the content of those websites but they could see the names of them. So if you'd like to pr protect that data too, uh, you open up a new tab in Firefox and you type in about colon config and this is uh, Firefox's secret um, configuration window. You click OK and you want to go down to the network area. I think I'll just scroll. Oops. And there's a specific um, network DNS proxy field that we're looking for network.proxy DNS here we go network proxy SOX remote DNS this is what we're looking for network proxy SOX remote DNS this is false so what we're going to do is double click that so that it says true and then we can close the screen and verify that um, everything's still working. And now your DNS queries as well are filtered through the SOX proxy. Um, so your browsing experience is completely protected. So that's all there is to it, really. Um, I might do another segment on Windows setup of the same service, which is similarly easy, uh, which uses um, PuTTY, which is the... SSH client for Windows, which is open source and free. Thanks for joining me.